today on This Guy's Garage. Well, I'm checking the oil on my F-150 here. Let me tell you why. Like and subscribe. Welcome back to this guy's garage. I don't usually, uh, well, I've never asked anybody to share my videos, but if you know somebody that has an F-150 and it has a 5 liter engine, you might want to consider sharing this information. At the very least, tell them to check their oil today. Now, my truck, I noticed, the engine was getting a little loud in it, so uh, I checked the oil and it was down more than a liter of oil, it was actually down 2 liters of oil. So I, it's a new truck, it's a 2018 F-150, I'll show you a picture of it. And uh, I raised my concerns and uh, I came across a technical service bulletin that said uh, these 5 liter engines have, have an oil consumption problem. So I took it in and told them my concerns and this is the service procedure for the oil consumption. So for repairs covered by the new vehicle limited warranty completion of the procedure outlined in this technical service bulletin does not require obtaining prior approval or a completion of a cost cap so this is the very first thing that's stated in this technical service bulletin i'll get back to that visually inspect the oil for leaks are there any visible leaks present yes this does not apply refer to workshop manual if no proceed to step two which was done step two was done replace the positive crankcase ventilation valve or the PCV valve and refer to WSM section 30308D drain the oil remove the and replace the oil filter fill the engine oil with 7.4 quarts or 7.4 liters or 7.8 quarts which is one quart less than the specified fill level note make sure that the vehicle is on a level surface I'm assuming that that was done run the engine for three minutes if hot ten minutes if it's cold turn off the engine allow for the vehicle to sit for 15 minutes this will, this will allow drain back then record the oil level shown on the level indicator and place a mark on the back side of the oil level indicator. So that was done to my truck. They added the last liter and after 15 minutes they drain back period record the location of the oil level by placing a mark on the top side. So this will give a new oil level indication. Do not use the factory oil level indicating markings for the oil for the oil consumption test only use the markings applied to the oil level indicator in step 5 and 7 explain to the customer the factory calibrated marks on the oil level da -da 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 -da. specified fill amount explain why the min max upper range might not be in line with the oil level indicator record the vehicle mileage so that was done <coughs> step 10 Advise the customer that the oil level indicator readings must be taken every 320 kilometers or 200 miles or weekly using the revised marks as drawn on the oil level indicator. Remind the customer the engine needs the minimum 15 minute drain back for accurate reading and the oil level indicator must be firmly seated into the tube prior to taking the reading. So they changed the oil at 40,111 kilometers. It now has 40,431 kilometers. So I put 300 kilometers on it. The oil was just changed on this 300 kilometers ago. Let's see if I can get the pickup on this. It's hard to see here through the. Oh, you can. There you can see it. This oil was just changed. 
300 kilometers ago. It is roughly an eighth of an inch down from the mark to put on this dipstick. So what they did, there you can go, you can see. There's roughly about an eighth of an inch. It's already down an eighth of an inch on the dipstick. So let me show you what they did. Because this thing is going through oil and it may need an engine, depending on this test that they're doing right now. They filled it, did an oil change on it, left the leader out, they marked the bottom line. Then they mark the top line. And if this thing goes through more than a liter of oil in 3,000 miles or 4,200 kilometers, they're going to put an engine in it. So, all right. So, that's why I'm making this video so you can follow along with me and uh, we'll see where this goes. So it's week two of the excessive oil consumption test. Truck now has 407 40,773 kilometers. Uh, started the truck, let it set for 15 minutes. Now I gotta check the oil. See the marks on the dipstick. High and low. As you can see here, it's down half a quart. One five ninety five. It is down the liter of oil. Jesus Christ. When the subsequent indicator readings demonstrate one full liter has been used, record the vehicle mileage. Consider the drive cycle the vehicle has been operated under when making this calculation. It may be necessary to have the customer bring the vehicle in for periodic oil level indicator readings to closely monitor oil usage. The vehicle has traveled at least 4,800 kilometers or 3,000 miles. In the oil consumption, this is step, part one of step 11. If the vehicle has traveled 4,800 kilometers, 3,000 miles, and the oil consumption has not met or exceeded the one liter quart, the vehicle is operating normally and no repairs should be performed. Note, use Use the marks applied to the oil level indicators in step 5 and 7. Step 12. Measure the distance between the marks in step 7 and current oil level and oil level indicator. Record the mileage in millimeters. The current vehicle mileage obtained in step 11 and the beginning record the mileage recorded in step 9 on the repair order. Step 13. Does the oil consumption measured exceed one liter in 4,800 kilometers or 3,000 miles or less. Well, I'd say mine did. Mine used one liter in 600 miles. Step one. Proceed to step 14 if the answer is yes. If the answer was no, vehicle is operating normally, no further repairs are necessary, repair is complete. Step 14. Replace the engine long block assembly and prepare the original engine to be returned for analysis. Easy peasy. So, since this came out on my second oil, second week of my oil test, they told me there was a new procedure. They were gonna, they're trying to get a computer fix for it. Bullshit. This is what I'm following. I said, I am not stopping the procedure. I'm going to continue to change the oil, or check the oil weekly, as prescribed 
in this technical service building. So, first thing, if you start it down this road, keep checking your oil. If they do the computer change, you still want to check your oil. This is the most important part of this process. And if you know somebody that has an F-150 with a 5 liter engine in it, in the 2018, 19, 17 area, tell them to go out and check the oil today. Anyways, I'm going to follow, I'm going to check back on this and uh, I'm going to let you know what happens. I am not settling for anything less than an engine. Anyways, this guy out.